going on guys? In this video we are going to see how to draw traces for hyperbolite one sheet and this is the standard form of hyperbolite one sheet we had to have squares right three squares and we had to have a one negative sign so that's the standard form of hyperbolite one sheet and if you want to know the shape of that one that the shape of hyperbolite one sheet is this right now let's see how we can draw the traces for this one now x y trace we know that we equate z is equal to zero so we get x square okay i should get rid of this okay okay x square over 16 and uh, we make z is equal to zero so this is going to be x square over 16 plus y square over 25 is equal to 1 and this is we know that this is an equation for an ellipse and this 16 we have to see what square gives us 16 that's definitely 4 so we are going to have negative 4 and positive 4 in the x axis and here we have positive 4 and this is our negative 4 and in the y, -x y axis 25 so 25 mean 5 square is 25 so this is going to be positive 5 right here and a negative 5 right here and let's draw the ellipse for this one the ellipse is going to look like this okay okay right now let's look at the xz trace to find xz trace we have to equate y is equal to 0 and if you equate y is equal to 0 you should get x square x square over 16 and if y is equal to 0 we are going to have minus z square over 9 is equal to 1 and this is an equation for a hyperbola and uh, hyperbola and let's go ahead and plug the plug these things x square over 16 16 is square of 4 so we are going to have plus 4 right here and a minus 4 right here and uh, then in the z axis we have 9 9 is 3 square so we are going to have negative 3 right here and uh, positive 3 right here right now in order to draw this uh, hyperbola what we can do is first of all we can draw a rectangle rectangle Okay, let's start from here okay the rectangle should look like this and also if you draw a diagonal along this okay let's draw a diagonal along this like this okay then we have to see which value is positive like here x square is positive right so this positive if x is positive we are going to have this hyperbola hyperbola in the x axis opening in the x axis right both sides and also this should be going like this we can extend this one hmm. okay. okay and the hyperbola should start from here so we are going to have hyperbola like this also in this axis we are going to have hyperbola like this okay now let's look at this one yz trace yz trace uh, we have to equate x is equal to 0 so this is going to be y square over 25 minus z square over 9 is equal to 1 and from this one we know that y is going to be 5 and negative 5 so this is going to be negative 5 right here and this is going to be positive 5 and here we are going to have negative 3 and a positive 3 and uh, that's it now we can go ahead and draw our rectangle rectangle let's choose a different color okay I start from here okay this is our rectangle and let's draw the diagonal so 
so we are going to have diagonal like this okay and also a diagonal like this and if you look at the positive axis that is y so this should open in the y direction y direction okay let's go ahead and draw this and it should start right here and that's how our hyperbola is going to look like and that's how we draw the traces for hyperboloid one sheet i hope this helps thanks for watching